This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by Jamie Cox over Zoom, the recently retired Jamie Cox. Jamie, how are you? How is life? All good, all good. Life can't complain. It's good to hear, mate. It's good to hear. Now, let's obviously get straight into it. You've recently announced your retirement from professional boxing. Just explain to everybody the decision to do so. Uh, just, just felt it was the right time. Just been in the game a long time. Just, um, <clears throat> I travel a lot and stuff like that. So I just want to be in one place really, to be honest. Was it a difficult decision to come to Jamie? Uh, yeah, most probably, but it's what, you know what I mean? I sort of forget now and I want to the next thing. How long had you been considering it? Nah, most probably. I was considering it before a couple of years ago and then um, I, I was training down at Tony's and we got ready for a fight and I was training really, really well, to be fair, sparring really well. Everything was going well. I could still perform now, but I got cut and I just thought, ah, uh, just, just gone on, on a bit too long, no fight. So my own fault, not any own top promoter desk. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just I was... Messing about, messing around with the sport. So I just, yeah, for that, nah, just call it a day. Jamie, do you hold any regrets with your career at all when you reflect on it? Um, I wish I, I wish I saw my video earlier. How much different do you feel your career could have planned out if that was the case, if you had done that? Most probably would have been world champion. And uh, I would have done a lot better. I'm, I'm sure we would have done a lot better. But uh, no, nah, Eddie's the best in the game. You know what I mean? He, <clears throat> when I went with Eddie Earn, treated fairly, great guy. And I uh, can't complain. Jamie, it's one thing with you. Everybody's always spoken about your ability and everybody had always seen you as a contender, somebody who had that potential to reach and to become a world champion. Once again, just reflecting over your time in boxing, how frustrating is it that you couldn't quite hit that level? You couldn't quite pick up a, a world title for yourself? No, nah, it's like, uh, it's disappointing to myself, to be honest, because like, I, it was my only goal in life to be, to, to, that was my only passion. Like, I didn't really care if I lost to anything in my life apart from boxing. And, uh, but, you know, it, it, I had a go, I had a good go, you know, on to the next thing in life, that's it. <laughs> Do you hold any regrets with not teaming up with Tony Borg any time sooner than what you did do? I had a fight with Tony before, but I owe my boxing to John Costello. Uh, John Costello made me who I was. John made me who the fighter I was. The dedication he put into me, the time, effort, and, you know, the, on a personal level, so straight to me. And um, I can only respect John and I love him dearly. So. Yeah, you know, and, and as much as Tony to Tony, I respect Tony, you know, because you know, like I look at trainers and I think uh, the way I look at fighters, like Tony, Tony's bring up through the amateurs, all the, he's made no into good amateurs, and then he's done it with like Salvi and nobody, well, not nobody, flipping Salvi. Salvi's my friend, he's flipping amazing, the bit, the, the hardest working trainer I've ever seen at Fire, uh, and like he come from the bottom. Three domestic title and won the world title, you know, like that 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 shows a trait, like you know, that's like sort of trait, you know, how I how I look at a trainer. Like Johnny had a good amateur team from the bottom, me from the bottom to the to to like well that we didn't get it. Not John's fault, was probably mine, <laughs> to be honest. You know, I didn't listen to the instructions, but um yeah, so uh yeah, you know, that's that's how I judge a trainer. Jamie, you was meant to fight at the back end of last year against Jack Cullen, as you mentioned um, earlier on. If that fight had gone ahead, if you didn't have to pull out, do you feel we'd be having a very different conversation now? And instead of talking about your retirement, we could be talking about the plans for 2021 as an active fighter? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, it, the fight didn't happen in that stage, so I don't know. Um, how do you but, think the fight between the pair of you would have played out if it had gone ahead? Uh, I believe I would have beat him, to be honest. A good fighter, Jack Curran, because I just don't think like the problems that he 
he wouldn't punch hard enough to keep me off. Uh, and, uh, you know, not too tricky, like some of the... He's a great fighter. What can I say? I didn't fight him. I, I can't give a comment. I mean, who knows? Jamie, life in retirement now, what, what would you like to do? What are you planning on doing with your life away from the sport? Uh, nothing really. Just chill out. Uh, just got a few things set up. It all in the pipeline. And, um, yeah, just with my family and that's it, really. You mentioned Lee Salby. Obviously, oh, I've lost you for a second. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. That's okay. Um, Jamie, just pick that back up there. You mentioned Lee Salby earlier on. He fought yeah. again last year. Unfortunately, he was unsuccessful against Cambosos Jr. Just to go back to that, Jamie, what did you make of his split decision loss? I thought Salby won. Like, it depends. I understand, like, it depends what you're watching. You know what I mean? Like, the guy aggressive, Salby just... Salvi was close, like he wasn't even up the gears. I thought, I know Lee, and uh, he, <laughs> I think they would just say, just stay behind the jab. You look, they felt they were winning, like you know. But like, if you put it on him, I think Salvi would have done a good job on him. But um, you know, I never seen it. He, I, I spoke to him after the fight. It's like he said, I, I could have. I just thought I was winning. I thought I was just coasting by him. He was like fresh, literally after the fight. I spoke to him, and um, yeah, you know, he. It, it, I don't think it, I don't think he'd go about it the fight the next time, just just winning. I think he'd go and make a statement if he ever had to fight Cambosa again. So I was going to ask you, Jamie. I'm sure you've spoken with him on numerous occasions. What is the plan for Lee moving forwards with his career, moving into 2021? I'm not too sure yet at the minute. Uh, I don't really want to speak on Lee's behalf. You know what I mean? And uh, but I, I know I know he'd be ready to fight again. He's already in training now. Jamie, what's got you trying to get your thoughts on a couple of other fights that we, we could well see if we're expecting to see this year? First, we start off with Sal Canelo Alvarez. He's looking to face Avni Yildirim, or he will be facing Avni Yildirim yeah. at the end of February. First, you just touch on that, Jamie. What do you make of it? I just see Canelo knocking him out. <laughs> Jamie, just to move, move forwards with Canelo, we saw him overcome Callum Smith at the back end of last year. Now we're looking at May time moving forwards. Canelo, Billy Joe Saunders. Do you feel Billy Joe possesses a style where he can overcome Canelo? You know, totally. Like Billy's got that movement. You know what I mean? You need to have your legs with uh, Canelo, I think. And uh, Billy's got that in abundance. You know what I mean? And uh, I wish him all the best. You know, fair play to Billy taking up the challenge because Canelo's pound for pound the best fighter in the world right now. So yeah, you know, he's got the he's got the tools. He's got the tools, just got to be on pinpoint precision, you know what I mean, on the night, that's all. Jamie, what is the secret, what is the kind of key, in your opinion, to overcoming Canelo? Is it to have the, the skill set that Billy Joe possesses, or do you feel you need something else? Who do you think has has the best chance in, in the super middleweight division? Yeah, you got, you know, Billy, Billy so Joe Saunders is hard enough, tough enough, he... he Got the speed, got the definitely got the smarts. You know, you, you need the feet work with Canelo. What, I, I, you know, he, he's the best for a reason. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, if, if there's anything you can do, like take out of it, that I think Billy Joe Saunders, like the type of fighter he is, can cause him real big problems. You know, when just Canelo be, just be switched on, and I wish him all the best for the fight. You know. Sorry, Jam. I was just going to say, when Canelo fought Callum Smith last year, was you surprised at all by kind of? Effectively, the, the, the comfort comfort that Canelo had on the night. Uh, I just, I I don't know what the stipulations were put in place for the fight. I don't know no, nothing. You know what I mean? But um, you know, Callum Smith is a tremendous fighter, and um, you know, massive for the weight. Maybe, you know, I'd, maybe his last couple of performances he ain't performed the best because he's so big in the weight. Maybe he needs to move up now. Maybe he's overdone the weight. You know what I mean? But Callum Smith is a terrific fighter. Jamie, just one more thought I want to get your thoughts on. We're hoping that this year we will see the Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua undisputed back up at heavyweight. If that one is made, if it does go ahead later this year, what are your thoughts, Jamie? Who do you think comes out on top? How do you think the fight plays out? I think right there. Uh... <laughs> is, is heavyweight boxing? Joshua is top. Both great fighters and uh, Joshua, you know, like he's a great uh, model for the sport of boxing. Uh, I just think 
You know, some people, some people when you watch, you know, they just got that like, what they say it could be outrageous, or whatever, but they got something special, you know. I think Tyson just got that, you know what I mean? You know, I've never seen a man that big move like that for 12 rounds, you know what I mean? I mean, being as big as he is, you know, the boxing, like on his toes, it was crazy, you know, it's freaking nature, really. But, um, yeah, I've, you know, I did one shot in boxing, you know what I mean? Joshua's got that power, so you never know, but but if you're gonna go off. I think Tyson's got more to the package. Jeremy, before we bow out and before I leave you to enjoy the rest of your evening, unfortunately not the rest of your life, because I'm sure I will still pester you for more interviews, so it won't be the last time. Oh, no problem, mate. No problem. Um, but I'm, I'm going to leave a final word to yourself, for everybody who's helped you through your career, for everybody you've worked with and everyone who's followed your journey. What would you like to say to them? I'd just like to say thank you very much, you know, um, it means more than they ever know. I, I have a deep respect for, you know, especially two people in my life, John Costello and Ricky Mazzotti, two people that I hold dear that really uh, uh, helped me out. And and uh, Eddie Earn, you know, tremendous promoter, absolutely tremendous, turned the sport around. And, uh, you know, the opportunities he gave me, I'm very, very grateful for, you know, he's a, a real genuine guy. And, um, yeah, just, you know, all, 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 all the people that have helped me out, my sponsors, their day bill from ringside, and uh, my friends and family that supported me, not just from the pro game, from the amateur game. They, 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 they supported me and, uh, yeah, made sure that they, 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 they backed me in the, the sport. So I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that. Jamie, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. Enjoy life in retirement as I say. I'll keep in touch and I'll hopefully catch up with you again soon. Thank you for your time as always and thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Thanks, thanks to you guys too, like you Andy. Thanks very much for all the time you've given me and just all the other for you. So I really respect that. Thank you.